Hey everybody, welcome back to Spin Rack. I'm here with the boys, PD and Cal. Say what's up, gents. What's going on? Ready to rock. Hey, P brought this up to my attention. This Kickstarter for GIJ. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna let P explain it all. Go GI what? GI Joe. Oh, the compendium? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So at the same time with um Skybound doing their like at least four series, not including the Transformers stuff, that they're gonna be connecting to that. But they have like Duke, they have Scarlet out. They have Cobra Commander, G.I. Joe with Larry Hama, I believe possibly another regular G.I. Joe series. With all of that buzz, you have the problem of do you do a big reprint and is there interest? And this is what Kickstarter is perfect for. Hey, let's see if there's interest for the entire Marvel series of G.I. Joe, since obviously Hasbro has the license, you know, owns this stuff so we can see if there's any interest. And boy, in six minutes, they found that there was interest. Let's watch the trailer for this here, and then we're going to continue talking about it. My name is Larry Hama, and this is your chance to get the complete original run of G.I. Joe, a real American hero, along with all the spin-offs in an exclusive hardcover compendium set for the first time ever. When you back this campaign, choose your side to unlock exclusive rewards. Will you stand with G.I. Joe or rule the world with Cobra? From trading cards to slipcases to hand-signed book plates for me, this is your chance to experience G.I. Joe, a real American hero, like never before. Yo, Joe! And we're at 1.6 million. And, and these books ain't cheap. They're going for, what, 75 bucks a pop? That's no. It's uh, it's he's they're doing well. One thing I like is that Hama is still involved. Oh, oh, hold on. Before you go any further, before you go any further, seventy-five dollars for this book—that's a good price because the normal omnibus is a hundred and twenty-five. <laughs> oh no, true, true. But I'm saying you're gonna want to get them all, right? So that I think that a lot of the, the, the... no, no the, these guys aren't gonna try to get them all. The, the high-end collectors, those guys are gonna get the top stuff. Or a guy like me who's going to look to resell, I'll throw down the money for the top stuff because I already know most guys are going to balk at it. Then they're going to change their mind when they get a raise, and that's how I make some money. But the other, but otherwise, yeah, it's it's good. And it is like crazy. The one twenty is to chuckles. That's only the animate. This is all digital. These are not physical. So you got to keep going up on that one. It's per, I think there are four um, volumes of the compendium. Compendium. Mm -hmm. Of course, most people are probably going to end up buying the um, the Cobra version, you know, uh, because it looks. Better. Why would most people buy the Cobra version? <laughs> uh, clearly, I mean. Why would people buy the loser version? Tell me that. It looks better, bro. Um, I would say the interesting thing that not only to do this type of stuff. But they also have the something for the retailers. Yeah, which is pretty interesting. So it's not, you know, because obviously the initial stuff from from um, Kirkman uh, from Skybound has been for in comic books. So it's kind of a dual thing, and um, it's kind of the best way to make sure there was interest and not, you know, lose your shirts. And everyone who's really interested and been buying the stuff. And if you're a G.I. Joe fan and you know a G.I. Joe fan, then you put your money where your mouth is. You've been wanting this stuff and you've missed so many issues. You want it on your shelf. It's a, a good thing. And it's, in, you know, keeping the comic book um, the comic book stores involved also. Those guys aren't going to buy it. All those guys who moan about, oh, why can't you keep this stuff in print and blah, blah, blah. They're not going to buy it. They're going to wait. They're going to say, oh, man, 75 well, I'll wait. Maybe I'll go to the stores and I can get it on discount. They're not going to buy it. Bunch well, of cheap sure. ass. They're not going to buy it. This I, right over here, that's for your high-end collector. That's why I like it. 
That's for your high end collector. These guys, the, these guys see seventy five dollars, they start to faint. Okay, they want trade. What is it? They want like discounted trade paperback. They're not gonna throw down the money for this. This is aimed squarely at the high end collector. That's why I like it. The guys who are serious, those are the guys who are gonna come out and get it. Not uh, these dudes who are always moaning. They want stuff to be like on its eighteenth print or something. Uh, you know, it's like not even newspaper print, toilet paper. Make the paper as cheap as possible. So, you know, they can pay like $2 for it or something. Those guys, it's not for you. Don't even think about it. It's not, you know, you're not going to get it on discount either. This is for the high-end collectors. You guys out there, okay, willing to throw down some money, know a good thing when you see it, understand the value of it, this is for you. That's why they're making it. Not those dudes over there. You see the Cobra Commander one. People are still for so the people who really want it could be high end, but definitely GI Joe fans are in there. The four thousand, the the four point four thousand, you know, thousand hundred people out there are there. That's that's a that's a great thing to see as far as what's thing. I know it is a lot of people that are high end collectors, but it's the people that have been sitting around wanting this to have it on their shelf and be like, hey, it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't get resold. It's just in their house, and uh, they like it. And I hear what you're saying, but it's like there's also the that fan I wish, that all I, I, <laughs> I wish I could agree. I wish I could agree with you because normally I'm thinking these guys because I've heard this so much. Oh man, they should keep this in print. They should blah, 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 and they don't buy it. They don't buy it. I I understand the value on this because I've been selling GI Joe trade paperbacks, the IDW trade paperbacks. Uh-huh. Some of those trade paperbacks go for three hundred bucks. Okay, this is a trade paperback collecting a handful of stories, and some of those things go for three hundred bucks. So these people are serious. The people who want it, want the collection, want the stories. These things are serious. So these guys out there, these are trades. Okay, these are omnibuses. It's not hardcover. It's just this was low printed, you know. And but these guys amassed the whole thing. They got the whole collection. They have the whole collection in trade paperback. So I already know who this is, who this is geared for. But then the same guys come over like, oh yeah, this, and they never buy it. They never buy it. They're just as bad as these guys who are always critiquing movies. You need to have this in, but they never go see the movie. So, yeah, only, those guys over there. Oh, you, you know, you've been a long time and you wanted to own it. No, you could own it a long time ago. You could. I'm not even talking about the original series. You may not have had that in real time, but they have reprint. When IDW had the license, they reprinted all of the classic GI Joe Marvel stuff, and then they had traits for their own. And these guys still didn't get it. Still didn't get it. So you had your shot. This right over here, no. This is for guys like me. This is for guys like you really love G.I. Joe. You want a nice, prestige, you know, format. You know, well, let me not steal DC's terms. But you want a nice, high-end copy that you're going to be able to read, okay, display proudly. This is for you. Not for these dudes over here. They'll never buy it. Never. (laughs) Okie dokie. So, getting back to this again. It's great that they have Larry Hammer still involved in this stuff, you know? I mean, I thought that when Skybound got involved, that you know they were going to push him to the side, like they do whenever you know they do these comic book things. They push the the original guys out. And it's great Thank that he's you back. Larry Hama. Huh? You don't have without Larry Hama, you don't have GI Joe. I agree, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying is really good. You see him at all the conventions. He shows up. You know, he's still there, and he's still doing his thing for all these years. No, so, I mean, I, without no, I mean seriously, without Larry Hama. You don't have, you don't have GI Joe. Be, uh, do you know who Simon Furman is? Oh, who's that? This is the guy who wrote the majority of the Transformers stories. So the Transformers readers know this guy, and if he's writing the stories, they they turn out. He understands the characters. He understands the universe, and so he usually turns out pretty good stuff at the end of the day. Larry Hama got tapped to write the bios for the G.I. Joe characters on the back of the cards. That's where it starts, you know, that's pretty much where it starts with him. So that's where he was doing it. But then, you know, and uh, nobody knew the G.I. Joe would run as long as it did. It would be successful as it was the comic because it went on long after the toys, you know, the, the toy line and the, and, the, uh, and the comic book phased out. But Larry Hama was the guy who created the G- I mean, Larry Hama is the creator of the G.I. Joe universe. He knows all of these characters, you know, in and out. So when Larry Hama's there, you're going to get G.I. Joe. When Larry Hama's not there, you're not certain what you get. You might get The Rock in a movie. That, if, you understand what I'm, if you understand what I'm saying. So without Larry Hama, you really just don't have it. So the fact it's the fact that he's there is somebody who's smart enough to realize, hey, we need to have him attached to it. Larry Hama is to G.I. Joe what Stan Lee 
is to Marvel Comics, if, if, that, if that makes it even clearer. Okay. He's like the, the, you know, the band leader, if you will. He's the guy who's, who breathed life into all of these characters who only had names. Okay, he, They only had names. They would come over, okay, the code name Snake Eyes, code name Scarlet, code name this, and he wrote all these bios, all this history, created this whole thing for G, uh, for G.I. Joe with Marvel Comics, interlaced it, you know, inter, interwove it, and, you know, gave guys, like, a really, really great adventure with characters that are pretty much espionage, war-type characters. So, you know, it, um, I agree. I'm happy that he's there, but I'm also even more happy that they recognize we can't do this without him. Okay, this is the, this what this universe doesn't exist without him. He's the only one who genuinely knows how this works. Okay, so Larry Hama being there, that's that's more than the gold stamp of approval. That's the that's the you know, that's the creator and he's still creating on GI Joe. Yeah, still is. And like I said, he's still in the cons. Yep. But it's still that the Cobra Commander set has gone uh, is completely gone. I mean, geez, you wish. I mean, oh, well, also I, the I, also the Snake Eyes one is going too, so don't try to be like that. Cobra Commander isn't going, but, but we have Snake Eyes is going. The, Two the, of the top characters in the um, GI Joe universe. You know, the plate that's there. If anything else has, you know, his stuff is gone. What can you say? His tank is all gone. Well, that's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that all this is happening. And definitely, when you get down to the lower, usually when you get to the lower, more expensive stuff. You don't see that all gone, so <laughs> and getting well, getting that um, Kubrick print because he's been doing the covers to the Hama series and they've been pretty great. So yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm glad to see people who are fans getting the books and um, I'm reading the current books right now, so you know I'm enjoying them. So uh, so is there anything else you guys want to add to this before we wrap it up? No, that's Larry it. Hama? Rumble, young man. Yeah, Rumble. <laughs> okay, so hey, thank you for joining. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, comment, spin a rack. Out. Out.